In this video, I'm going to be running DeepSeek R1 on my MacBook M3 Pro with 18 gigabytes of RAM. So, um, to do that, I'm running NA10, um, and I'm just using NA10 because it's got quite a nice interface. It's actually quite a good way of testing some of these um, language model capabilities. NA10 is connected to Olama. Olama is running the um, the large language model um, on my device. It's actually running locally on the laptop and not through the Docker. I've got a video, um, a couple of videos on that topic. If you're interested to have a look at those and the reason why I'm running Olama locally, primarily it's to be able to leverage the GPU power. Um, I've done a pull of. I should pull that up. So already I've done a pull of the DeepSeek R1. So I've used this command here, Alarma run DeepSeek, uh, actually Alarma pull DeepSeek hyphen R1. And that's given me the seven billion parameter version of the model. Um, there's a variety of different models and I'm going to probably try out the 1.5 billion parameters and maybe some of the others, but I think I want to start getting certainly to the 70 billion parameters that's just going to be too heavy to run on my laptop without it kind of grinding to a terrible halt so i'm going to swerve those ones and see what i can do with the smaller models and yeah just see how they perform so i'm going to do some basic testing so you can see what the expected performance looks like if you're going to be running it on your device Okay, so let's go over to NA10. So I've got Alarma running on my computer. I've got the DeepSeek R1 latest. This is a demo workflow from um, NA10. It's actually what I use to basically test things because it's got a nice chat interface. And also you get some metrics to be able to see how that's performing. I'll just minimize that. Got, okay. So I'm just going to first off say hello um, and then we can see the chat has triggered the um, LLM and has kind of gone off to the model and I've got hello how can I assist you today. One of the things I like to test, let me just make this a little bit bigger and resize this slightly. One of the things I like to test is get the uh, a model to generate a 500 word kind of on any particular topic. So that's one of my first go-tos. So uh, write 500 words about artificial intelligence. Okay. So we can see over here the GPU is spiking, and it'd be interesting to see how it performs in terms of how long it takes. So yesterday I was playing with Phi4, which is the the uh, small language model from Microsoft, and that model um, I was getting around 73 seconds to produce a 500 word, let's call it essay. Wow, that's really good. But I mean, Phi4 is larger, so it's nine billion parameters than this. So that's 33 seconds. So from a performance perspective. 7 billion parameters is pretty good. Um, I did yesterday, I write 500 words about music was what I asked yesterday. And again, you can go and have a look at my other video on this. So actually, I'm reasonably impressed. Well, no, I'm more than reasonably impressed because uh, Fame 5.4 can be a little bit slow and 30 seconds is pretty good. So I think I'm going to try whilst that's running I'm going to try I'm going to grab the da, 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 the 1.5 billion parameters this should be much faster this has potential to be a go to model for me for my I like to use workflow tasks and on those I then I tend to for those workflow tasks use the smaller models because they're more efficient 
So let's have that running in the background. Let's see what this has done. So, so it's done three, oh, sorry, 500 words on music um, within 30, what, just under 32 seconds. That's pretty good. So uh, I'm going to test the um, 1.5. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really rather quite impressed that I, I, I'm not checking the quality of this writing if I'm, if I'm being absolutely honest with you um, I'm just seeing what it kind of comes up with and how it you know what it spits out I, I need to use this for more than just a few basic tests to be able to get a feel for whether this is any good or not but you know and, and you'll be the same because you've got to find your own use cases one thing I do quite a lot of is I input content that I've produced already and ask a language model to rewrite that and then that gives me a first draft for using on my blog for, for let's say that's a um, you know it tends to kind of take a few minutes to, to translate 500 words in one format to a you know a kind of nicely formatted blog post but you know I'm definitely going to try using the deep seek and have that up against I use Gemma 2 at the moment for that so I'll do an A-B comparison. I'll start running a few tests against those different models to see which one A gives me the best performance in terms of the speed, but it has to be at a good quality level because I can't, there's no point in having things that are fast just for the sake of it, but the quality of the output's no good. That's my use case, or certainly one of my use cases, and I'm working on a few other bits and pieces where the smaller language models are just as suitable as larger language models and they run really well on my Apple MacBook Pro M3 with 18 gig of RAM. I'll see if I can get the system information up. Um, actually it's up here isn't it? About. There you go. Okay so the Alama has pulled the, the 1.5 billion parameters version of DeepSeek. So I'm going to open up. Now I am expecting this to be much faster because it's far smaller. I'm going to do right 500 words. About artificial intelligence again. So if you remember the first attempt on the 7 billion parameters was 30, 33 seconds. The performance on the uh, writing about music was 31 seconds. So let's see what the 1.5 billion parameters does it in. So 22, 22 seconds. I mean, what I love about this is the uh, fact that all of this material that has both been generated but also all of the reasoning that's coming from Deep Sea Car 1 is all happening locally here. So what's that? 14 and a half seconds? That's fast. So yeah, it's all coming locally. It's all coming locally. So from a data privacy perspective is so so powerful so I can do things that are um, commercially or personally sensitive all on my computer they don't live out in the cloud they're not informing or training as somebody else's model there's no risk of that data getting elsewhere so for me running language models locally is really really powerful powerful and an incredibly useful tool to have in my arsenal um, and that's why I'm getting into NAN and I'm finding it to be incredibly powerful and so a few other tools that I play with at the moment I'm just finding their use case for me but again if you're not doing this 
certainly worthwhile exploring. If you are interested in running N810 locally on a MacBook or a, or a Mac Mini, then have a look at this video over here.